Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding a stick in my hands. And we're playing Madden 20. 20th edition. Houston. More like 30th. We're not playing Houston, are we? Yeah, we are. We're, yeah, yeah, we're the daddies. <laughs> the oil daddies, the tycoons. <laughs> Dude, I would love to have an oil dad. Daddy I mean, see, wait, hold on. That didn't sound right. That I would love like to have a daddy who was in oil. I don't like the way that came <laughs> yeah. out either. Uh, I, you, do you want an oiled up daddy? I wish, I wish my father was in the oil industry. <laughs> that sounds the least sexual of anything they said. <laughs> I know. And, they're like, and that's where I wanted it to be. Homoerotic joke check. Yeah. <laughs> daddy was, wait. <laughs> As always, we're playing offense only. We're simming that D. We're using the balance playbook. We're playing on all Madden arcade mode. We're still recording on Christmas. Whatever. And, uh, oh, we we are not drunk. <laughs> You're sir. drunk. I'm not drunk. Oh. Well, I I'm had drunk. I had one white claw, sir. <laughs> oh, he was a tall boy, though. <laughs> I know you. I know those tall boys. So like, what, dude? I got two <laughs> rum and cokes. Don't, don't be telling people I drink tall boy white claws. <laughs> you just did. Bro. I got a reputation to uphold. Yeah, dude, super cool guy. That's I'm the what it thug is. of the group, Jonas. <laughs> we're yeah. like, we're like run the jewels. <laughs> what? That's a, it's a group. Never mind. A band? No, a group. <laughs> a group of what? Of rappers. You never heard of run the jewels, fam? It's got a uh, killer Mike and that other guy in it. Killer Mike. Yeah, it's act they're actually pretty good. You should check them out. Yeah, I think I've heard like, ooh, I've been running on the whip and nah, 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 1996 man. Yeah, that song. Yeah, that is one of their songs. I yeah. think. I think. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize they were rappers. I thought they were like pop stars. No, you should check them out though. Honestly, uh, it's it's right up that alley because it's like uh, it's like poppy. Mm, I wouldn't say they're poppy. Maybe you didn't hear Run the Jewels. I don't know. Maybe you did. Check them out if you have heard them before. Okay. It's more power. I can do that, man. I'm good. But it's it's along those like the MF Doom type stuff. That MF Doom. Mm. Oh, you think you told me about MF Doom? Joe Do Smith. Yeah. MF I like Doom. recording when we're abbreviated. <laughs> Why do you keep saying we? <laughs> Are you sober? <laughs> I don't need you to tell people my level of inebriation. Are you sober? I'm, I'm perfectly you. fine over here. I didn't ask if you were fine. I asked if you were sober. Okay. <laughs> well, if we're just going to start the spitting truths, I've never recorded an episode of anything <laughs> while not under the influence, Jonas. <laughs> Since wow, you just wanted, oh uh, my god, that's basically what you're saying. I, well, you want to bring out the real truth. I was just like, Are you sober right now? You're like, I've never been sober in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like you're saying. No, bro, I'm trying to call bro. all your tennis. Ooh, ooh, you lying to all our fans <laughs> and Jones. <laughs> yes, and are you lying to all our fans? <laughs> only ask because I only ask because you're lying <laughs> it probably <laughs> wow it does fit everywhere in your life you know it was it was funny I was uh, on a YouTube channel um, all deaf ever since Russell Simmons got he, he was, me too <laughs> He got me too, dude. Yeah, he got me too a little bit. Yeah, I mean, but rightfully so. If he's a piece of trash and he got me too, I mean, that's what happened. Yeah, but it's like, uh, it's got a couple comedians on it that I, I watch, and they were uh, they were getting ready to do, like, uh, start recording their, their YouTube for the week or whatever. Okay. And they were like, hey, yo, we should do Zip Zap Zow. And I was like, oh, Zip Zap Zop or something. And yeah. I was like, really? Wow, so they do, like, yeah. Should we do that before the podcast? <laughs> <We're not. laughs> just the two just of us. <laughs> because we can use zip and zap and zop it back and <laughs> like how wait does that mean we're good because we can like go from like nothing to like on Jonas say that I'm good at anything because the wise man realizes that he knows nothing and that he is poor at all things oh yeah, because I then know. there's always something to chase Jonas there's a well, precipice you know, like, to go for you know what I've realized is I feel you know it's funny people who are uh -huh. 
average at things, like they're experts. People who are experts speak like they're beginners because they realize no matter how good they are, they can always get better. Yeah, and there's always somebody better. That's right, the thing. exactly. Like, I, there's a few things I'm trying to learn right now, and I'm like, I will never feel like I'm an expert. People can be like, you're great at this, and I'm like, nah, I can always be better at this. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's, if you don't have that mindset, you're going to fail. And this, and this is how I kind of like put it to people, man. It's like, if you think of everybody in the NFL, every single one of those guys would crush it back in high school on your on your high school team. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They would crush it in your college team. Every single one of those guys. But not every single one of those guys who are already all the amazing are as good as, you know, one of the greats. Well, I feel like, OK, here's what I think, like with the NFL compared, like that's a great thing. Because I feel like a lot of times people want to put in the work to get there. And once they get there, they become complacent. Yeah. So, like, what happens is you put in all this work. You, I mean, obviously, to get to the level where you're NFL quality player, you have to put in work. Like, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? But then some guys. A lot of it's natural talent. Right, a lot absolutely. of it is. But one, they, they, they never feel like they're good enough and they're constantly trying to get better. Yeah. Other guys get there and they're like, I've made it. I can relax. Yeah. So those are the guys who get those like $100 million contracts and when they win two years are out the league. And then there's other guys who get $100 million contracts and then they play so well they get that Two hundred million dollars, you know. It's like yeah, and then there's like, but even still, that those guys that are even working that hard, there's still somebody that's working harder. There's somebody who's the star quarterback. There's somebody who's the running back who has the shoe endorsement deals. We can be talking about like the fifth or sixth guy down on the bench. He's worked super hard. Just to say is that. You can be good at something, yeah, but you ain't as good <laughs> as the star There's quarterback. There's always someone better than yeah. you. Yeah. But you know what? Like, okay, you know, with that same aspect, though, like, sports like tennis and golf, they mm. have a world ranking. Yes. If number one in the world, <laughs> how hard is it to, like, feel the need to get better? Like, it's like, I would feel there like that would be anything. hard. Because you're like, I'm literally ranked number one in the entire earth. No yeah. one is better than me. How do I get better? Already the best. You got five seconds. <laughs> you can, And I, I agree. I don't know what you chase for after that. I, I mean, once you have it all, this is why they say uh, that money doesn't really make you happy. Because they say, that, like, if you just have the money, then you kind of lose your drive. And then there's a bunch of people asking you for stuff. And they, they just want... A piece of you and you feel well the drive is to get the money and, and then once you, you have it you're like yeah you did it yeah like i'm like man i want to make six figures a year then you make six figures a year and you're like i'm here it's so funny because it's like people with money just want to remember what it was like to feel like a person to, who didn't to, have to, money. to feel like you have to like dude and, yeah, and that's so about crazy. the difference between go-getters and people who are complacent like, I don't feel that, like, I feel like, so, okay, so for a random example, say, like, we all of a sudden hit a crazy streak and we had, boom, we blew up. We have a million followers. We're making six figures on YouTube. If everybody would tell their friends to like, comment, and subscribe, it would have happened already. Right. So, like, but it's like, I feel Jeez. like I'm the person who, like, no matter, dude, we could have 10 subs or we could have 10 million subs, I would still have the same work ethic towards the channel. Uh, Maybe we'd yeah. have somebody that would ha be hired to do our editing and whatever. That ain't the same work ethic. <laughs> well, no, it, it's the ability to have someone do. But like, I would still put in the same effort to like put out quality content. I would like to be able to edit our videos more. I'm actually interested in the whole editing process. Yeah. Because I hear a lot of YouTubers say is that. Uh, I feel like I got funnier on YouTube because my editing got better. And it's like when you can just like make cuts and, and something, it just comes across a little well, bit. Well, eventually, dude, to be completely honest, TNT Dynamite, like these video game videos are great, but like if we ever got to the point where we were making like real money, I would want to do like way more than just video game videos. I would want to do like sketches and get like a crew and like a bunch of funny we people. Could do, we got a camera. Let's do a sketch. Yeah, but it's like right now, this is what we're doing. We have real jobs. We work. Well, some of us have real jobs. Most of us have. <laughs> what the hell that? Right I now, love it, right. dude. I love it when you sub me. <laughs> it's hilarious. I really do. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Right now, you don't what have a job. What the hell so. is that? Still, 
If I didn't have a job, I would expect you to be like, well, some of us have jobs. <laughs> you know, and I like, would. And you're going to have a job soon. And I it'll would. Be fine. But, like, we could do this for our job. And we, like, had the freedom to, like, hey, let's find some other funny MFers in this town and get together and make some sketches. I would be 100 down. God, Jonas, it's almost like if we just had, like, one rich benefactor comment section, Slim Thug and... <laughs> young it's Slim, right, dude, young maybe. Maybe Young Slim has a couple million that he wants to. Just... I would do. It's like would you do I simulation mode? Where this could be my job. It would. It would motivate me to do so much more. Wait, Jonas, would you do simulation mode? <laughs> <laughs> Done simulation mode, if bro. somebody was paying you to do it, would you do simulation mode? Yes. <laughs> okay, you guys, there it is. I you would drink Mountain Dew and talk about how great it is. You got it. Go reach into your mom's purse. No! <laughs> Don't do that. Do not tell them to do bad things, friend. No. Are, are we culpable for that? Yes. Really? It's like, is, is Charles Manson culpable for telling people to go kill people? I mean, uh, but. Same difference. No. You're if telling them to commit burglary if, instead of murder. It's satire, though. Yeah, but, some, dude, some people can't tell the difference between satire and reality. <laughs> yeah, it's satirical. Well, I've already laid down the framework now that it is satirical. It is satirical. Do not do this. It's just <laughs> it's in jest. I mean... Yeah, don't. Do, do you feel like sometimes people don't understand the words we use? Because we don't use small words sometimes. I don't like using small words. Honestly, um... Like I just uh, thought about that. Oh, that they are... Uh, what's, the, what's the term I'm looking for? I'm hoping that they are compelled that when we do use uh, loquacious Ooh, verbalizations... Yeah. I hope they are compelled to go and look up some of the ish I said. I don't know, man. Like, I hope they do because I just realized I was like, oh, we said that in jest. I feel like some people don't know what in jest means. No, it's fine. You can look it up. Yeah, but if you don't know, please look it up. Please get in the habit of yeah, looking man. at things you don't understand. Don't just be like, ha ha. <laughs> what do you sound like a substitute teacher? <laughs> Hi, my name is Mr. Jonas, and I'm teaching you back Oh, my today. God. That is such a sub name, too. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Jonas. Uh, my name is Mr. Jonas. <laughs> I'm teaching you algebra. <laughs> Why does he have a southern draw? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Algebra 2. <laughs> what is We're going to watch Homeward Bound and learn about in uh, the Pythagorean theorem, theorem. Why does he sound like a fat Albert <laughs> character? Her, her, her. I don't know if I'm offended yet. No, I'm, no, no you're good. I think you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm searching... Am I? You're like, am I offended or am I okay? I'm gonna, it's like a mix between Fat Albert and Colonel Sanders. And I'm not sure if I'm offended or it's okay. <laughs> but yes, kids, look up the stuffs, man. That was the first thing that got me kind of into YouTube, a server, is the fact that he used words that I did not know. And oh, I always, wow, if you don't know them, holy <laughs> crap, dude. And, yeah, that's the thing. I've always like prided myself on my vast vocabulary, and this guy comes out, he starts using words. I'm like, son of a mother fudge. <laughs> You're like, wow, he knows words I don't had know. Me, I'm in. Had me looking stuff up, man. Is that that guy that you always play here you listen to? It he is. He's super intelligent. He's not really. He just kind of. <laughs> he's a word I, nerd? Yes, he's a word nerd. He's an information nerd. He's also uh, like, what, like 750,000 subs, so he's good. Um, yeah, we're going to get there. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, man. <laughs> That'd be great. It said that it took him seven or eight, nine years, nine years to get to the point where he is now. Well, yeah, but and some people grow faster than that. Dude, okay. Like, we're not even two years in yet. Yeah. We are a few months shy of two years. <laughs> we got 400. But 400 isn't easy. It ain't, man. The first thousand is the hardest. Yeah, it's like... That's why for the next thing, man, we, we're going to get some variety. We want to... I, I, I've always... Just, just kissing the goalpost, I guess, <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> I've always had a vision for the channel yeah. to be a variety stream. 
Oh, yeah, dude. Or a, a variety channel. Me too. And the Madden has taken off, so I have no plus having a staple. Right, and it right. should remain our, our primary focus. Right, right, because that's what draws people in. Yeah, it works. But right. I, I do want other stuff on here. The Borderlands was a nice... That's uh, why I like doing, yeah, triple A stuff. Or yeah. even indie or whatever. Yeah, and we've done other triple A games as they come out. Yeah, Red Dead. Oh, yeah, we did do Red Dead. Vision. We did do Laura. I don't know what we should do next. I've been yeah, thinking. Yeah, I don't know either. But, you know, I always... Wa- I don't want to be purely mad. I don't. I don't. No, you can't. You can't. You've already played... Oh, dude, this. dude, if I I want to go figure out how many games, I, dude, there ha- we we have to be pushing like 750 man videos. There's, my Browns, my Browns franchise last year had 210. Mm-hmm. This year's Browns franchise has like 115. Right there is 325 videos. Not to mention Desperados, Desperados, Oilers, the Golden, 49ers, Golden Eagles. Vikings, Golden Eagles. Mounties, the Mounties, dude! Oh my God, there's so many. Oh my God, there we literally probably have. There's no question. There's 500. Mm-hmm. At mm-hmm. least, it's, it's. I can't. I just can't. I, I can't uh, believe it. We've finally come full circle, man. That's back when we used to talk about the game a little bit. <laughs> oh, about Madden. <laughs> I still do when I do the bronze video. <laughs> I still do yeah. talk like kind of strategy a little bit. Yeah, like I've you. thought about doing a, a Madden franchise where I literally talk strategy and like almost teach people how to play. That would be good. I like, think a lot of people would like that. Like I think I should do my bronze franchise like that. I can turn the play clock off and be like, okay, here's what I'm doing. You see this? Do you see why this guy's doing this? Here's what I'm doing. I'm using I form. Here's what my my thought process is. But yeah, these videos that we do together have turned into literally podcasts with Madden on them. Yeah. So it's fine. I'm good with that. You know, I like and, that way better. Instructional videos are big. Jones. We should put up instructions on how to put in a USB port. <laughs> how to put a USB port? Yeah. How to plug in a USB make a make, make a make a 35 second video on how to put a USB port. I did do port an instructional in. video on how to relocate a team in that. And it got views. It got a lot of views. Yeah, people are like, oh instructional videos people like those man so let's do, let's do some household instructional videos How, dude i want to do cooking videos i told you this for a long time i want to do cooking videos i know you do too i really do like but like simple man stuff like teach these kids how to make grilled cheese just, and burgers and mac and cheese you could just stream that just stream yeah stream your cooking video i've seen people do it oh and then i could just put it on uh freaking mouth does it I'd be all right. I'd be okay with that. You do like a cook stream and just have a camera watch you in your house cooking. Yeah, dude. Uh, you can play music on it too. Ooh, my music? yeah, not your own music. Like, boom, 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 boom. Well, was that Casio beat? That was. Like- <laughs> <laughs> no, Jonas. No, we're not going to play the Casio beat. All right. Well, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, make sure you share the video with a friend. Tell your friend. Yeah. Call your mom. Call a friend at school. Tell your grandmother that we have funny things. Call your friend's mom. But Yeah, call your friend's mom. You know you want to anyways. But for Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out.